Well, now, today on this video, I'm going to share with you the three all-time best businesses in Kenya. And guess what? These businesses, they have the potential of earning you apps of more than 5,000 and above. If you only run it according to the instruction that I'm going to give you on this video. So all what you need to do for you to understand each and every bit of each and every business, what is needed for you to start that business, how to run it, what are the nitty gritties, the tips and the strategies to run that business. Just sit back, relax and watch this video to the end. And, and by the way, before I even continue, do you know that I always post a video each and every day about best businesses, how to save, how to make money, be it either online or in a conventional way. So perhaps in the future, you don't want to miss any of my future video. What do you do? It's very simple. It doesn't cost you anything and it is fast. Down below there on your right, there is a very small button written subscribe. If you hit that magical button, turn that notification bell and give this video a like. By only doing that, next in future, whenever I upload a new good video, YouTube will notify you, hey, Good Joseph has uploaded a new good video. So anyway, enough with all that introduction, let's get into the business. Now, guess what? The number three is the best, so better watch to the end. Though, the first one is none other but butchery, okay? Butchery is a business that obviously I know most of you, you know it, you've ever heard of it probably yesterday or today or you're planning to go and buy something from that specific place. It all deals with meat and all those kind of things, all right? Let me tell you one secret. These guys may seem as if they don't earn money, but guess what? These guys make a lot of money out of that business. And if there is a business that has, has what we call bigger profit margin, it is butchery. And by the way, this butchery, you can run it all the way from like a small butchery to you learn, running what we call a very big one. For example, what do I mean? You see, in a business, I always tell people there are three versions. There is a small, there is a medium, and there is a large or big. Okay, now what do you do? Say you have like 80,000. I know as an individual who started a business with 80,000. Yes, you can because some of the nitty gritties that you need in this business, of course, you need a place. And a place here resonates with a place where you have high residential areas because of obviously those are the target customers. The other thing you need, of course, you need a very nitty place. Of obviously, is well branded. You need a weighing scale. You need those chopping, uh, you know, what we call the steels and what have you. Uh, you also need what we call the where the, the, the where you hook your meat and all. All those, all those carcasses and what have you and the land licenses because you see now you're dealing with food here because you don't want to rub shoulders with the government you can go ahead and start it so where is it a lot of money goes towards you starting this business a lot of money goes towards you setting up the counter and also that place where they you fix your meat or where the meat is usually placed all right that one i can tell you you can budget at around 15,000 or 20,000 sometimes can go even to 30,000 if you want to build something that is protruding outside but if you just want with, uh, to retain it within that given house that you're having or room then can go around 15,000 to 20 thousand budget for that the other one is about licensing keep for your seven thousand around there of course they will ask you about the hygiene and medical whatever goes for fifteen thousand each individual that you have employed in that place and then again are you buying that carcasses and what have you this doesn't cost much but what requires or required in this specific place identify a place where they're actually doing the slaughterhouse or where the slaughterhouse is and then they can be able to deliver you then but that is not a big deal you just started and then you never know where these guys come from and then you'll be able to get your suppliers all right so this business is actually i'm telling you if you can actually incorporate a kitchen in that business i am telling you making good money is not a question of if but when and how that's the reality all right now business about the butchery business is a quite a good business and what are the towns that can actually befit this business any town in kenya provided they are human beings people care about taking meat and let me tell you one thing we have a thing called nyamachoma thing in our country so if you can do this business then rest yourself and by the way this is a, my favorite business if you don't mind like it's one of my favorite business i think i should say so all right because all the three that i'm gonna discuss is actually the favorite businesses all right so you can actually have a bigger version of this one whereby you can incorporate what you call likes of the choma zone you know those choma zone and also you can combine it with some drinks restaurants and what have you so this one usually resonates well and these are the businesses if you have some money let's say it ups of one two three million then you can include something like car wash inside of this it's like you're having like three or four businesses at the same time then you can make yourself 
more money. Obviously, don't target a profit of 5,000 if you're incorporating a kind of car wash and what have you. Definitely, you make more money. All right, let's go to the business number one. It's none other than spare parts. All right, spare parts business. All right, now this spare parts can either you're dealing with motorcycles or you're dealing with what we call the automobile uh, spare parts, or you can do a combination of both. And if you would like to know if these guys are making money, just be a hold of an individual who visits. Like, if you're living in Nairobi, you can visit the, the Kirinyaga Road. These guys may seem as if they're not making money, but I'm telling you, these guys are actually making a kill out of this business. Because if you can get yourself, if you can get a hold of this business, naikukubali, okay, if the business accepts you, meaning then everything will be very good. Because, okay, in our country, a lot of automobiles are being imported. Also, the motorcycles, commonly known as Boda Boda, are quite large in number. And though those vehicles or those Boda Bodas need repairs and what have you, then if you get a part of this business, you're good to go. Yeah, I know you are like, okay, fine, but I do not have the skills about to come up, or maybe I'm not a fundi, meaning you're not and a technical expert or something of sort, there's no problem. What you can do, you can run the aspect of the business. You go buy all those spare parts and be able to set up this business, then employ yourself two or three fundies, uh, you know, who will be, be out there and doing the servicing and what have you. If somebody want to do the service from your premise or if they want to just buy the spare parts and they can do their services from whatever the place that they want to. But I always prefer, it's good to incorporate those services. But anyway, if you go to Kenyanyaga Road, hardly will you see them offering the services. If you get these services in likes of the Gregon, Karyoko, and uh, what have you. Those are the places where they do these repairs and such kind of things. So anyway, you can as well do offer those two services. Number one, you're selling the spare part. At the same time, you're offering the repair services or mechanic services, and you can make something out of it. Obviously, when I say Kiriyaga Road, that means that it's a place where you can get these spare parts in wholesale. But if you have the potential, you know, you have that grace of money, then think of importing this, uh, these products. And, and guess what? Uh, there is a a lot of rumors going rounds, and I bet they are actually authenticated that if you can make yourself visit Uganda and buy these spare parts, it's actually a very good place where people are actually importing spare parts from Uganda. I don't know how quite funny it is because, you know, those guys they usually import their products via the Mombasa port in Kenya. And I don't know how they become cheaper in their country. Then you can as well import them back to, I don't know, I understand the mathematics, but a lot of people are showing interest into buying or from buying those products from that specific given countries. I also heard some rumors that people may opt to go to Uganda, you know, cross over, go to Uganda and buy the cars and then bring back them in Kenya. And uh, I don't know, that thing is really working up. So if you can get a piece of this business in Kenya, then rest assured you can make something. Now, what are the areas that this business can actually do good? Of course, it can be either in towns of obviously not CBD. It cannot do good in CBDs. Uh, obvious, uh, uh, unless you're selling those uh, those uh, spare parts. But if you're incorporating the repair services, obviously CBD won't resonate well with you. Okay, most of the, these areas become this, uh, the, the what we call the stage uh, near the stage where we have those motorcycles. Uh, you know, semi towns areas like outskirts of any given town, the industrial areas of any given town. Or what you need in this area, you need to get yourself a room. You don't really need to do the branding, the painting, and what have you. All what you need is a simple counter, a point of sale system. You need a CCTV if you're doing the uh, large volumes. You also need those mechanics to be there to repair the services if uh, your customer or clients require those services. The other thing that you need, of course, is you to have a very big banner and branding explains what you offer there. And of course, good customer service before and after sale services. And then from there, you can be able to make money. And again, 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 I won't forget to remind you this. Don't get left behind by using online or social media to advertise your business at all the occasion uh, break the bubble get out of the comfort zone don't do what they do and go out there offer your services online explain to people what you do and all those kind of things i've ever seen guys um on this social media explaining how they are selling laptops and how you be careful you don't get caught and what have you how about you get this in i haven't seen anybody who is talking about mechanics and how you get corn from where you take your car and all those kind of things. By the way, you, it, that's a very good niche, actually. If you are out there, you're a mechanic, you have the courage to talk before a camera, or you're selling uh, spare parts, how about you just be making videos and tell us, hey, if you want to get buy a spare part, hey, this is how you know the original, this is how you know the fake and Rest assured, I am telling you the market out there, it's quite big. And uh, what we can say, it's quite competitive, I don't deny. But if you can demarcate your territory, then rest assured, you can be able to make something at the end of the day. All right, so let's get into the business. Now, the last one, but not the least, this is actually the favorite one. Honestly speaking, I can't lie about this. I love this business. I do. 
love this business. And it's none other than pharmacy business. Pharmacy business, all right? Pharmacy commonly known as chemist. This is a business that can actually make you a lot of money. Because why? Number one, the reasons why I love this business, number one, bigger profit margin. Why? The difference between the buying price and selling price is quite huge and enormous. And you can make something out of this. Number two reason why I love this business is it's a business that you hardly find people bargaining. I'm not saying I hate people who bargain, but it's a business that you always have the upper hand, all right? Or have you ever shown up in a pharmacy or chemist as it's known in Kenya? And uh, you're told that all, all those medicine will cost you like 2,500. And then you're like, oh my goodness, can you take 1,800? You hardly bargain because you don't even know all the names of those drugs, eh? Because it's quite complicated. It's actually very big and something of sort. And you see what? It may not be advantageous to you, the buyer or the patient or the client, but to the person who is selling, you have an upper hand and you can actually do good but again don't manipulate people because a lot of people get manipulated when they actually shows up in these premises and buying this kind of a product so be very careful when you actually uh you know running this business business now i know the question is this okay can anyone start this business if you have not done pharmacy and something of sort yes you can and this is where kenyans don't understand how about you're just a wealthy individual you have money and you want to invest in the health industry in kenya does it mean now you can be denied to invest no you can't you can be able actually to be an investor, but what you need, you yourself, you cannot run this business. Like physically, you cannot sit uh, in that counter and then you're servicing people telling, hey, hey, uh, this drugs, called, no, 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 you, this medicine, brother, you cannot do that because you do not have the expertise that is required and needed by the Kenya poisons and bone and whatever. So all what you need to do is hire people who are relevant, hire people who are actually are certified by the government body and you can actually buy the license and be able to set up a business under the names of that uh, license that is bearing their startup business, employ relevant people. All what you'll be doing yourself is to run the business. The technical aspect of the business about this medicine cures, this heal, this or what kind of things and what have you, you're not dealing with that. What you're dealing with, you're dealing with the numbers. I did stock 300k. I did stock 5 million. I did stock 1, 2, 3. Now, this is my input, then what my, ex, my, my output. That is the aspect of the business as far as the pharmacy is concerned that you can run and operate on. And then you can, guess what? You do and make money, all right? So all what you need to do, obviously, here when you're starting this business requires a lot of certification. Number one, somebody who is selling the medicine over the counter or on the counter actually need to be certified, either holding a pharmacy, uh, hold a BSc in pharmacy or pharmaceutical, not really pharmaceutical uh, technologist or something of sort. Uh, and again, you need to brand your house or your room in a very, very neat way, preferably blue and white or white or whatever i bet you've ever seen those medicines and again a uh, where here where a lot of money surely goes is you coming up with the counter the shelving the dda and all those kind of things requires you to have a lot of a uh, keen and offer of course offering you know see when you're dealing with health you have to really depict that picture that anyway you know what hygiene is on my standard and everything is okay you need to have yourself a point of scale of sales rather you need to have the cctv and circling and circling that place because of the security purposes this business you can actually incorporate with M-Pesa, you can incorporate with other mobile banking money and what have you, likes of equity, KCB, blah, 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 blah. You can actually incorporate this business with an aggravate if you do not know it's allowed in Kenya. Uh, you can as well incorporate this business with cosmetics at the same time. So you can have an array of things that you can actually do using this business. And guess what again you can be able to do? You can actually, if you have a, a, a room at your disposal, you can incorporate the laboratory services at the behind there. You can can have the technologies you know uh, the medical laboratory technologies doing their testing you can have the the pharmacy guys in front here and that's just spreading your tentacles and how you can be able to I mean there are millions of ways how you can be able to make money in this industry and guess what I always tell people whenever you start a business be uh, uh, be, uh, be, be like um, Think big because Kenya is growing in capacity. We are not yet, uh, we've not yet done what we call like, uh, we've not catered everything as far as the, 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 the health is concerned. So it's good if you get a piece of this business and then you get started. Guess what? All these businesses, I have their business plans ready for you. And a copy, it's only 280. If you need a business plan on butchery, I have it ready. It's 280. If you need a business plan on spare parts, it's 280. It's ready. If you need this one as well, it is 280. Each and every business plan explains 
exclusively all information that you need where to get the license how to get the license how to operate how to start how to run how to expand how to all those kind of information you can get how do you get a piece of that business plans or those business plans if you need all of them grab my number my number is on the description of this specific video you can text me or call me inquire the copy that you need then from there we can get started all right so for now it's a goodbye don't forget to like this video comment down below so me will think and see you in the next one goodbye